everybody, it is Tony and I am back. Have three TTMs back again this week. But before we get to the TTMs after a week off, I will take a look at the Brandon Wins TTM Challenge standings. And here they are. Got some TTMs and uh, Jedi Styles added a few. Muskoka Card Collector added a few. Uh, MP and MC Fox added a couple. And I believe Disguise Cards added a couple as well. So now it's on to my TTMs. And the first one comes from It's Only Fitting. For Notre Dame USC Week, it is Pat Hayden. Pat Hayden was a USC quarterback back in the 70s. And then he went on to a successful broadcasting. Yeah, I had a typo on this. Broadcasting career for NBC for several years. He also did CBS College Sports for a few years. Uh, he did commentary for Notre Dame football on NBC for many, many years, 12 years, in fact. And he was pretty good at it. Of course, some Notre Dame fans were upset that a USC guy would be calling Notre Dame games. Whatever. He, he I had no idea he was even a USC guy. And when I wrote to him, I told him how much I enjoyed his broadcasting. He didn't write me back. No biggie. But that's probably why he smudged that other card. <laughs> All right. Next one is from San Diego Chargers legend, John Jefferson. John Jefferson now lives in my area. So it was a very quick return. Six days. Had a great start to his NFL career and then kind of flamed out there towards the end. But he was a heck of a receiver, part of the Air Coriel offense. The Air Coriel offense, if you're not familiar, just a fantastic offense for the Chargers back in the late 70s and early 80s. Almost got to the Super Bowl. What was that? 1982, the Bengals and the beat them in the AFC Championship game in 1982. It was like some some maybe negative 30 degrees or something like that in Cincinnati that day. Uh Nobody, that, that would be a terrible game to be there, terrible game to play, frozen field, awful. And now we're on to the final TTM, and it comes from Miami Dolphins legend, Matt Moore. Matt Moore never had a 1,000-yard receiving season, yet he is third all-time in Dolphins history in receiving yards. Only Mark Duper and Mark Clayton are in front of him. Now in today's NFL, I'm... I'm almost positive that Nat Moore's 7,546 yards are going to be pretty secure the way that uh, today's NFL free agents come and go so often. Nat Moore had one Pro Bowl. He caught passes from Hall of Famers Bob Greasy and the greatest quarterback of all time, Dan Marino. So thrilled to get Nat Moore. I saw that Scott Spaulding got him back, and I immediately went out and picked up a card and sent it out. And uh, Nat Moore is fantastic. Uh, other people who've got him back have asked him questions, and apparently he's he's thrilled to answer those questions that that people ask. I didn't ask ask any questions. I was just thrilled to get the autograph. As you know, anybody who's associated with the greatest quarterback of all time, Dan Marino, I'm happy to get their autograph. So that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.